Le Mans is absolutely fascinating. I mean, it's a, it's a tradition, it's a history, it's the atmosphere uh, created by every single person who travels once a year to the great 24 hours. It's the race itself, high speeds, night and day, expecting always the unexpected, in the rain, in the dry, in the heat, and uh, everything is, is part of making Le Mans absolutely the most fascinating race in the world. I've had the privilege of standing up there, and I tell you, that's the best feeling you can ever have as a race car driver. Best feeling is also what a good car gives, the brand new Audi R8. And driving on this unique track, let's go for a trip. So welcome on board in the brand new Audi R8 at this unique place in motorsport history, the circuit of the 24 hours of Le Mans. Exiting the pit lane. But, whoa, wonderful. Flat out into turn one, hit the curb on the left, making sure not too much to the right. Kiss it on the right, making sure you have good traction. Flat out, downhill. It's a lot of elevation changes here. But be careful, there's a bump. Boom, it has to be flat. A little bit early on the brake, let the car slide on all four wheels. Wonderful here through the bank corners, but over the crest it might bite you. Using all the road into Tete Rouge, just a small lift in the race car. Exit, very important to have a very good momentum through there as you get into the fastest part of the circuit. The Hinadea up until the first chicane. The race car reached up to close to 350 kilometers per hour in a good tow. Race car, you can go up the way up to around 190 meters and you break incredibly hard. Down to second, right and then left. Making the car a little understeer, flat out, up to the second part. Breaking point, very similar, around 90 meters. A little bit faster in, making sure you're close to the curb. A little understeer, using all the road and momentum. And then flat out, long left hand, and let the car wash a little bit out. Not scrubbing speed, accelerating into the third part of this wonderful straight. It's a corner you need to break incredibly late but not too late. It can really bite you here. It can be off. Spot on. Position yourself for a very challenging corner, the Indianapolis. Be careful the brakes here. They are hot. Slowest part on the track, Anash. Kissing the curb coming out. A little bit of fist tailing. Accelerating out through this beautiful part of the circuit. A little bit left, a little bit right. Breaking into here, very tricky. Bumps, make sure that you get close to the curb. About 240 in the race car, 245 flat out, up to 270, six gear. Almost flat in the kink, down to fifth. Maison Blanc, water corner. The whole car with the right setup as this car, drifting on all four wheels. You come in anti-bank to karting, there's a little bit of push. So make sure you get the apex and then easy on throttle, flat out through piff path. You come up to the last chicane, the four chicanes. It's blind when you sit in the race car. It's a bit more comfortable than this one. Making sure you hit the curb, but no brake, no throttle. A little bit of throttle in the second part of the chicane into the last one, down a gear more, second gear, very aggressive curbs. Then it up to the start finish line. And that's one lap of this wonderful circuit. The race car, we need about 400 more to have a good successful race. Whoa, I enjoyed this lap. It's always fantastic in a race car or in this splendid Audi R8. A lap around Le Mans is something unique.